Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to a bit of a different one. You'll see it on the title and from what's in the background. We are on the Classic Mini. Um, I just to let you know, obviously you'll see that I'll be changing the slave cylinder. I'll get it out, slave cylinder. And there are two different types on this era and age of car. Mine is a Verto type and non-Verto types basically have the bleed nipple right at the very end and a non-Verto sorry a verto has the um it kind of facing upwards like that almost so that is what mine mine is a verto so um make sure you get the right one first and foremost check your car and look at the shape of it more than anything mini spares is a really really good place for that because the pictures they give are um how they should be which is really good so um, all you'll need is probably one to two hours <laughs> fingers crossed should, should i say and um, hopefully it should be straightforward with some spanners um combination of spanners and ratchet and whatnot and it should be a relatively easy job i'll show you the differences between the two types of um slave cylinder you can get and what you do and a bit of a how-to watch on and enjoy today's video is sponsored by cge based in suffolk but national collection is available cge are set up as an ultimate vehicle styling company from full PPF coatings, vehicle wrapping, detailing, decals, ceramic coating and bespoke vehicle modifications, please get in touch for a quote. CGE can modify your car from mild to wild, from road to race. Just get in touch and they can discuss your needs. Check our link for the full details of where you would get your quote. And if you quote PPR 15, you'll get 15% off your quote. What are you waiting for? So yeah, I hope this helps. So mine has got original, an original AP, yes, AP Racing or AP. They have made lots of bits on these um, uh, cars, and actually, if you were to buy a replacement now, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be badged up as an AP, which is a bit of a shame. But it'd be made with the same AP tooling, but it wouldn't be the same um, slave cylinder. So anyway, this is a Verto type. It basically has the nipple still goes that way but it's got this little hook almost like an l and it's going back on itself l i call i say shape if it was a verto type the nipple would be on the very end actually facing that way i don't know why i said that way on the end there it'd be on this bit here right so enough babble first thing we've got to do is this fitting and line basically has got to come off or certainly got to come off the back of this old slave cylinder but we're going to, have to undo that little top nut one on top of my glove orange glove is pointing to the moment so that little nut that's 11 mil and typically i'm not at the barn haven't got all my tools so i haven't got 11 mil so i've got a little mini adjustable hopefully i'll be able to get on that just about undo that take that pipe and pull it up to the top then take this nut off separate that from there and then um, maybe try and take that off afterwards i might actually try and take it off now otherwise and then that way we're almost using it where it is as a vice and then go from there hmm interesting yeah maybe not i'm not sure because i've got to take the nut off the top which is on a union hmm yeah, I might need to take that after, after, afterwards, but that's going to be a bugger. Let's see if we've got any WD-40. Because I took a look at this and I looked like it was going to, it looked like it was going to be a bugger. I went and got a load of tools. Now, <clears throat> this top nut, big nut, is 24 mil, just FYI. Um, yeah, I'm going to take that off. I've taken the little nerd nut off there as well. Then we'll attack these two, which I think are 14s. Just have a check. Look at that push rod, how disgusting that is. I'm going to give that a clean up before we sort that out. The rear bolt, the secondary bolt, 14 mil, is an absolute pig to get to. There's hardly any space at all. And the bolts are obviously got so much rust on them. And actually, I've seen worse than that. You almost have to get 15 over it, which is not nice. But hey ho, probably would have been best to use different hardware. But you don't need to do them down do them up too tight to be fair so anyway um looking at the boot at the bottom of this look at the state of that i'm gonna take it off as well i'll show you the inside of it 
horrendous. Right, let's get the new one, get it on. Somehow we've got to get this um, union bolt off as well. Let's get that off because we need to reuse that. Half wish I um, got a braided brake line, but I couldn't see that option on mini spares, but I'm sure it is, but probably do that at a later date. But to be fair, this doesn't. This line doesn't look too horrible or perished, so we'll reuse that. 16 mil for this union bolt. Whack this off and then put it on the new one. first check and make sure it looks right yeah castings look about right thankfully it comes with its own brand new boot i was worried in case you had to use the the stock one uh, but yeah it's got a new union uh, bolt uh, nut bleed bolt on there as well that's all blocked off but yeah so a new one should look this is a non-oem casting but it's good there you go, we're going to fit the union and the pipe, just check for any tears, it all looks good to be fair, it's actually in quite good condition, uh, it may have been replaced before, I reckon it possibly has, but if not it's in good condition, so just this thing was absolutely buggered, so yeah, it should be sweet, hopefully a new lease of life, um, yeah, like I say, just do the union up ever so slightly, but nice and loosely, check this as well, do it up a little bit. And then yeah, start putting it on. Just locate your two standard um, bolts. I'm gonna get this one, which is the awkward one, on there first. Do it up gently-ish. And then, yeah, go for the other one, do that up nice and tightly. I decided to actually just clean this up with a bit of wire wool, because there was a very abrasive build-up of edge, uh, of almost rusty, crap and gunk that would have been pretty nasty for the seal and the other bits so cleaned it up now that will insert nicely into there yeah i've done up the union nut at the back because you'd never be able to do it afterwards um basically if you just do it so it's straight out of it this way the direction of where the pipe bend's going to be is going to be spot on for this get this in as you're putting it in um do these up do that one back up first then this one up while it's going onto the rod self-explanatory very easy and then uh put the castle nut back on and the nut jobs are good one. well and this little little uh line as well there you go Looks much nicer, doesn't it? Everything all done up. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Um, yeah, everything all done up. Um, probably likely we'll need to give this a whole bleed, bleed, get my words out, clutch bleed. Start it up unless miraculously it works straight away. It's unlikely. But yeah, let's give it a start up and then bleed it up. Well, you will see that I am in the car. Um, clutch feel is beautiful better than ever before slave cylinder uh, replaced and yeah it has made the world of difference just a little bit of a heads up you need to do when you bleed you need to do both the top almost like brake master cylinder as well as the the clutch uh, fluid level that needs to be nice and full tip top tip syringe or remove all of the rubbish stuff put all new fluid in keep topped up to the full level once you've got you've given the system a good bleed you can see all the craps come out of it you've got clear uh, fluid coming through do that last little lock off with the person inside and then just uh, put the caps back on and then leave it at that it should be good and the jobs are good right so if you don't know to do a brake bleed what you need to do is you've got the bleed nipple which is there if it focuses the one without a line on top of it just there and basically what you need to do is you need to have a second person in the um, car um, open these up like I said a minute ago and keep them topped up and purge all the fluid out so literally what you've got to do is you've got to push away so open up 
the bleed nipple with like a line that goes into a cup or something. Um, open it up, get the person inside to press the uh, clutch pedal in, get them to hold it in, then you close the nipple off, then they release um, and lift up the clutch back up and then you keep basically rinse and repeat. So basically you flush through the system, then you're good. So yeah, that is the end of the uh, video. If you've got any questions, obviously as always, hit us up in the comment section if there's something I haven't put or you know said something about. I probably have, I may have forget, forgot stuff. I might say I'm in, heads in there, going for it. But yeah, really successful um, clutch, um, clutch slave cylinder change and clutch bleed and it works. So yeah, as always guys, thank you for watching. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe. See you again in the next one. Bye for now.